Well, that's a very similar truck to mine, except it's a Platinum 450 with a significant lift on it. So real quick, I want to mention Cove, who is sponsoring this specific video. They sent me this Bluetooth speaker. It's the Cove Commuter. This thing is really cool. It has quite a few features. It operates with smartphones, tablets, pretty much anything else, and connects via Bluetooth 4.1. It has this X-Base subwoofer at the very end of it and produces some really, really good sound quality. It operates for up to eight hours on a single battery charge, and you can be up to 30 feet away from it without any type of interruption. It also doubles as a speakerphone for incoming calls. It includes a USB charging cable, an auxiliary 3.5 millimeter audio cable, and it just works really well. The sound quality on it is pretty freaking amazing. And let me give you a demo of that real quick. Not only that, you control the volume with this little bezel around the top. And as you can see, it gets really loud. If you're interested in the speaker, check out the description of the video. Also, if you visit covespeakers.com forward slash BTBRV and use code BTBRV, you get 65% off the price. That is really, really cool. Now, let's get to the video. Now, isn't this a cool little travel trailer? Let's take a look at this because this thing is super small. It's 14 feet long and, you know, some people may want something like this. This is the Air from StarCraft. This thing is really cool and really small, has an air conditioning system. Let's see what this thing's all about. So first of all, it is a wood framed unit with aluminum siding. It's roughly 14 feet long. Overall length is gonna be closer to about 16 feet if you include the front trailer hitch assembly. This is a really compact coach. This is something you could tow with just about anything. Let's take a look at the numbers. This unit has a gross vehicle weight rating of 3,200 pounds. It has one axle rated at 2,720 pounds. It has a 638 pound cargo capacity which isn't too bad. Some people will say, well, why is the axle rated at less than what the trailer's rated? Well, that's simply because a portion of the weight is on the front of your vehicle. So you're gonna have roughly 400 pounds worth of weight that's gonna rest on the tail of your truck. And that's deducted from the gross vehicle weight rating, so the axles are more than adequate for this specific unit. Plus, if you don't load the trailer up with 638 pounds worth of stuff, then you're gonna be completely fine. The dry weight of this unit is 2,562 pounds, so this is a very, very light coach. You could tow this behind all sorts of vehicles from a Dodge Durango to maybe a Tahoe to a smaller SUV or even like a Canyon or Colorado, Toyota Tacoma, anything that's rated to haul in that 6,000 pound range. This would be a really good coach to, to consider if you don't need a tremendous amount of space. Because this is so short, I have the ability to pretty much do my entire overview standing on one side without moving. You have your black and gray tank system right here, your cable input, your furnace, as well as your refrigerator, your wet bay connections right here, city water, as well as your tank fill, low point drain, and it has a stabilization system on the front of it, as well as the back. This coach has a front window as well as a cover that swings down over it when you're traveling so you don't sling rocks or things like that into it. Here's your battery section on the A-frame with one propane bottle. Has a manual crank jack. This would be a perfect trailer to put a fastway flip on, by the way. And if you don't know what that is, go back and look at my video on the fastway flip, which is really cool. Now, I know a lot of people probably think I'm completely against wood-framed units with aluminum siding, and I'm not. I just kind of prefer the fiberglass siding because I think you're gonna get more resale value out of it later, and it's a cleaner look. It's more cosmetic to me than anything. As long as your unit doesn't get compromised, you don't get water into the framing itself. You know, these types of units are pretty nice because they're easy to maintain. If you ever have damage, it's far easier to repair a wood frame with aluminum siding coach versus a fiberglass sided unit that's gonna have a much different construction process when it comes to putting the side wall together. And this little RV has something you may or may not have noticed. It has an awning and believe it or not, it's motorized. You have a switch on the inside to extend or retract the awning. It's a pretty cool little trailer, to be honest with you. You have your front storage right here. It is not a pass-through storage, but it's got a good amount of space in it. You could easily fit some small chairs. Pretty nice. Let's step up into this coach. 
this is a pretty cool little floor plan, guys. It's got a bench seat right here, which could easily double as a bed. It's got a bed up front, which is about the size of a queen-size bed. It turns into a dinette area if you're not using it as a bed. Basically, you put these pillows on the back and then raise the seat up, put the bars underneath it, and you have a table here. It's got a full kitchen area, refrigerator, stove, sink, microwave, space up here, air conditioning system. This specific coach is used. It had a $12,485 used price to it, and now they're asking $9,995. This is made by StarCraft. It's the 14RB. Then you got more storage right here, along with the radio. You would put your TV right here in this area, whether you choose to mount it or just set it up on the countertop space. You have your cable and your power connections here, as well as your tank monitoring. More cabinet underneath the sink, as well as a reasonable size bathroom. Now you don't get your own sink in the bathroom, so there's your compromise. It has its own bathroom, private area, Full shower, stand up, has a little bit of a tub to it, so you can actually, you know, if you bring children with you, you could wash a baby or somebody in the tub. It's a good size little bathroom. You'd have to use a sink out here, of course, to wash your hands. You have a little area for your keys right here, your thermostat, and a good size little closet area. This little trailer is pretty surprising. It has a pretty nice floor plan for what it is. This is definitely not going to be for folks who are going to want to live in it, but, you know, there probably is an argument for people who want to get off the grid, have a place that they could take with them, and have all the necessities that they would expect in a trailer, you know, to get something like this. You could tow this behind a Jeep, you could tow this behind just about any type of vehicle that has a tow rating over, I would say, 4,000 pounds. I would definitely want to opt on the side of safety and focus on a vehicle that might be in that five to 6,000 pound or greater tow rating, but this is light enough, short enough, and it's not really that tall, so you don't have to worry a lot about sway when towing something like this. Anyways, guys, this is definitely something that a lot of people might actually like. It has a lot of appeal to it, and it's something you can take just about anywhere. I would put probably a little bit more aggressive tire on it. If you're gonna go with a coach like this, you're gonna wanna definitely make sure that you aren't taking it to an area where you're gonna damage it. But overall, this is something that would be great to take out to the beach. This is also something that you might wanna take on a short vacation over the weekend. And if you have a smaller vehicle that you're, you know, you don't wanna get into something real large that would really stress your vehicle out, this is something worth taking a look at. Again, this is a StarCraft 14RB. It's about the size and weight of an R-Pod. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this short video. I saw this thing out here last time I was out filming, and I definitely wanted to spend some time with it because I think this is going to appeal to a lot of folks. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a big thumbs up, and I will talk to you again very soon.